Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man. Listen, man. You guys don't... I mean, listen. Sometimes, I told you, these videos are impromptu. I do not plan on doing these things. But what happens? I told you. You go to bed. You wake up in the morning. You turn the TV on. You check the internet, and these things kind of just hit you in the face. And last night, the Denver Nugget fans hit Joel Embiid in the face. They hit him in the face, and I loved it. Every minute of it last night, man. It was sensational. Sensational. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We're going to talk about Joel Embiid ducking Nikola Jokic last night, ducking the smoke as usual, ducking Jokic, and the fans calling him out. The fans call him out. This is what I'm talking about when I say we're standing up. They're standing up to the nonsense that is the NBA. The load managing. The flopping. All of this stuff. We're done with it. We're calling these guys out. And the fans last night in Denver called out uh, Joel Embiid for ducking Nikola Jokic. And they started chanting, where's Embiid? Where's Embiid? So shout out to all the Denver Nugget fans who are talking about this video. And thanks to all you guys, man. Shout out to everyone out there. Everyone across the world. Everyone across the states. I am truly humbled, guys. Truly, truly humbled. Thank you to all you guys, man. This channel is nothing without you guys. The true basketball fans that are standing up to all the nonsense that is the NBA right now. We're done with it. We must let our voices be heard and set the record straight and stop them from rewriting their history and hold these guys to a standard. This is what we're doing. We must do it. So thank you to all you guys out there, man. Everybody in the membership, shout out to everybody out there. Thank you. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So yes, guys, like I said, you guys know how I feel about Joel B. I've told you guys many times on this channel, this man is soft. This man is just... He likes to duck out. He ducks out. He's never there when you need him. He always chokes in the big moments. He doesn't show up in the big moments. Always missing games. And I told you, this man needs to show up. He needs to play 70, 75 games. Show some heart. Show some grit. Show some leadership. Show some fight. And I did that video about him scoring that 70 points the other day. And I told you, it means nothing. Because it doesn't. And look what happens a couple of days later. A couple of games later. Joel Embiid's ducking out of Nikola Jokic last night when the Sixers play the Nuggets. And what they label it as. It was a late scratch. Joel Embiid's a late scratch with a knee. A late scratch. Anytime you're a late scratch, that shows me and tells me that you ain't got no heart, no grit. Because you could have played, Right? You were probably going to play, but you're a late scratch. Yeah, it, uh, nah, I, I, I'm not feeling good. I'm not going to give it a go. Because why? Joel Embiid would not want to play if he's not 100% or close to it against Nikola Jokic. He don't want to go out there. He only wants to play against him when he's 100%, when he's feeling great. Then he'll go out there maybe and give it a go. But if not, he's going to duck the smoke. This is his M.O. now, guys. This M.O. This is the same guy, Joel Embiid, that told us, right? He told that story one time about how he wrestled a lion in Africa. This guy is such a clown. This guy has no toughness to him. No heart. No grit. And you duck Nikola Jokic. Right? You, you duck him. Your team loses again now. They've lost, what, two games in a row, I believe. And... You're sitting there on the bench in street clothes like an idiot, and the Denver Nugget fans let him have it. They started chanting, where's Embiid? Where's Embiid? And I remember there was a scene, the, the thumbnail of this video, as a matter of fact, is the scene of him standing in the huddle during a timeout, and the fans just booing him and yelling at him, giving him the business. 
And I give him credit for taking it. But he had no choice. He had to take it. Because he knows the deal. And they called him out. He had no choice but to take that. Because he's a coward. A coward for not playing against Nikola Jokic. When your team is supposed to be one of the best teams in the league. They said that. Uh, I remember hearing Stephen A. Smith said that Joel Embiid was sending a message with that 70-point game. What message? What message is he sending? Not sending a message. No message is sent, nothing received. I told you, until it matters most. I don't want to hear about his regular season nonsense. Let me know when he plays 70 games. Let me know when he can go through a top playoff run without missing any games. Let me know when he can show up like he does the regular season in the postseason. Then he'll be sending a message. The message he keeps sending is that he's not like that. He ain't that dude. But they gave him an MVP last season. Where's the MVP? Where are you? Show up against a real MVP. You didn't want to be there, though. And the fans booed him. And it was amazing. It was a great. I watched that video. I watched the video. Go check it out, guys. They were booing him. They were yelling at him. Where's Embiid? Clowned him. And all he could do was sit there and tell him to keep going. He was telling him to keep going. Lift it up. Go ahead, guys. It's all you can do. Because you're a clown. You look stupid, Embiid. You were supposed to be one of the best players in the league. And you're getting clowned. Because you got no heart. It got nothing to do with on the game. I mean, on the court game. It's your heart. The lack of intangibles by these guys. No intangibles by these players. Most of these guys, they don't got none of this stuff. Joel Embiid just wants the numbers. He wants all the adulation, all the fame. He wants the MVP trophies. He don't want to go out there and lay it on the line. He don't show up when it matters most. He's soft. His body's frail. And he keeps ducking the smoke. So I'm glad that Nugget fans, if there's any Denver Nugget fans that listen to my videos, shout out to everybody in Denver. Shout out to Denver Nugget fans. Shout out to everybody last night that was giving Joel Embiid the business. Good for him. He deserved that. He earned that. He earned those, those booze last night and all that heckling. He earned that. Good for him. And I hope other fans do that to other players. If players are ducking out, they're load managing, Boo these guys. Call them out. Make them play. Don't let them just sit on the bench and look like a bunch of idiots, laughing, having a good time. Make it miserable for them to sit on that bench in street clothes. Have the nerve. Joel Embiid. He wants to be the MVP, but don't want to play against an MVP. Right? Wants to be the MVP, but don't want to play any games. I told you, this guy's on the verge of missing too many games to be qualified for any accolades. I told you, it should have been 70 games. I think he would have missed it already. This guy's, guy's soft, man. I told you, I don't respect Joel Embiid. Look, these guys proved me right. I told you, I wasn't even going to do this video. But look what happened to him. Ducking the smoke again. Against Jokic. It's not a coincidence, guys. This is like what? The fourth time he's done this, he's missed a game against the Nuggets. It's not ironic. It's not a coincidence. It's a pattern. There's a reason why he's doing this. I don't respect Joel B, man. I don't respect this stuff. You can't be the MVP and want to be the MVP and be mentioned with the all-time greats, the great players. But you're dugging out when you got to play against the great players. This is what I'm saying, guys. Back in the day, the great players showed up to work. They played against each other. That's why they were great. The greats made each other greater. They pushed each other to higher heights. These guys don't want to do that. Not consistently. He played that last time against them, but that was one out of four times, guys. It's ridiculous, man. Joel beats a clown. Shout out to all Denver people out there, man, for calling this guy out last night, man. It was a thing of beauty to see them heckle him and hold him accountable. Hold him to a standard. You should be out there. 
You want to run your mouth like an MVP? You got to show up. Scared of Jokic. Cost your team another win. You got another deal, man. We don't respect this stuff. We don't respect it. We want the best players playing against each other. We want them on the court. Every night. And Joel B, this guy. This is what I said to you guys in the night. This is what I'm talking about. He had enough in him to stay in there for that 70 points. Right? To stab pad that 70. I told you, the team was up almost 20 with three minutes to go. And he was still in there collecting points. But he wasn't afraid to get hurt then. He wasn't worried about the injury risk then. But you'll sell this game. A late scratch because of a sore knee. What? That's cloud stuff, guys. Don't respect it. Can't respect it. Never will. Never will. Joel Embiid's a clown, man. He ain't no real MVP. He ain't got the heart of an MVP. The toughness. The grit of an MVP. The competitive fire. He should have wanted to play last night. They should have needed 20 guys to hold him back from playing. They, they should have had to do him in one of those things that Houdini would wear. Put chains all around him. Put him in a tank upside down to stop him from playing against Jokic. But instead, all it probably took was someone to be like, yo, man, you want to sit out tonight? Oh, all right, yeah, 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 I'll sit out. I I'm, I'm a little sore anyway. All right, man, cool. Hey, how's your knee feel? It's a little sore. All right, why don't you sit out tonight? Okay, cool. They scratch. Joel Embiid, but he wants to be MVP. I told you guys, not impressed. Well, show me what you got in the postseason. That's what I'll judge Joel Embiid. All this other stuff, it don't mean nothing, man. This guy put up 70 points, put up these numbers in the regular season. It don't matter. He's only playing 60, 65 games every season. Anyone can put those numbers playing 60 games. It's not the same as playing 80. Ducking guys. It's a pattern. Don't respect them, man. Shout out to all the Devil Nugget fans again. once again, guys. You know the deal. Shout out to everybody out there, man. We must continue to hold these guys to a standard. The real fans are standing up like they stood up last night and called this dude out for the nonsense. Call these guys out when they're load managing, flopping, whatever it is. They show poor sportsmanship, all of this stuff. They say something stupid, call them out. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.